Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with not a huge amount of makeup on and noticeably I don't have anything on my lips because I'm gonna show you loads of lip products. Over the last month or so I got sent a load of products and I've been picking out kind of the ones that I think you'd be interested in, the ones that tickle my pickle because everybody's pickle needs to be tickled. So I have some high end, I have some budget, I have some brights, I have some nudes, I have some glosses, I have some mattes. I got it all. Kind of. Okay, let's get stuck in, shall we? First up is this little beaut from Pixie. This is part of their spring collection and I think it comes in this shade and in another kind of peachier, curlier shade that I'm going to have to get. Because when I first saw this, I was like, that's lovely. That's like a nice dusky pinky. Wait till you see it on. Oh. And this is the Lip Lift Max in the shade Peony Bloom. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It has a little doe foot applicator and you can see that it's slightly bent so that this part kind of sits on your lips when you apply it. But look at it. It's glossy. It's got like a sheer to medium level of pigmentation and it's minty and it just makes my lips look real juicy, real plump. I really want to apply it now. Will I apply it now? Okay. Because I was going to like film all the talky bits and then film all the cutaways but I kind of want to wear this. So you could wear, it, okay, I'm just trying to like talk and not like get this all over my face. You could wear this with the liner or on its own. I've been wearing it on its own and it is fab. Don't I just have real juicy lips? I love this. If you know me, you know that I don't wear a huge amount of pink on the lips because I don't know, it just doesn't suit me. This suits me. I love dusky pinky shades like this and um, they're just really wearable. Anything that's too bright or too Barbie pink is just demented. Um, but this feels really nice on. I've been wearing this loads over the past couple of weeks since they gave it to me and yeah I'm gonna buy the, the peachy one because I just think that the peachy one is me in lip gloss form. Love that. I'll put the links for all the products and the price and everything in the description box below because I've just got to get crack it because I can't remember everything. Love this. We'll continue on with the whole moisturisation on station across the absolute ultimate nation. These are new from Clarins. They're part of the spring collection and these are their Instant Light Lip Balm Perfectors. This is the shade 08 Plum and this is 07 Hot Pink. They've brought out other ones of these in the past and I have like basically like eaten them. That's how much I've worn them. And um, yeah, these shades are lovely. I'll, I'll apply them now. Hold on. They feel really nourishing on the lips and I do have a blog post um, on these and the spring collection if you want to go and have a look. I will leave the link in the description box below. So we'll go in with number 07 Hot Pink. I just have a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And it just as one of those little twisty up your applicator things. I love this. See, I have to have a lip balm on at all times. And if something has a little bit of colour as well, happy days. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I always feel like wearing a shade like this kind of lifts my complexion when I don't have, like I don't have any eye makeup on at the moment. You're probably going, yeah, stay dear. But I just don't want to put any on. Um, yeah, so a shade like this kind of just gives my complexion a bit of a lift. Also, the sun beating down on my face gives my complexion a bit of a lift. That's um, hot pink. And I'll put shade plum. Shade plum is one of those shades that kind of goes with any look. Sorry, this is like really rude. It's like the equivalent of like talking while you're eating. Um, this is shade plum, so it kind of looks quite dark in the tube. But do not fear, for it is not that dark. Okay, thank you. This makes me happy. That feels lovely. When you do this, it doesn't feel really greasy or oily, it just feels nourishing and hydrating. And yeah, these lip balms are fab. So you can have like a little bit of lip care, a little bit of colour, all in one. And I can't remember how much they are, about 20 euro. But they're gorgeous. And there was a Carl one that they brought out maybe last year or the year before, which I love. I always pick up one of these or the Na Instant Light Nat Natural Lip Perfectors, the ones in the tubes whenever I'm in the airport, so love them. I already spoke about the next product in a blog post, but I just wanted to give another little shout out. So this is one of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks and it looks crazy with the colour, but wait and see. This is called Sheer Beso. So they already have a regular version of this called Beso and they decided, do you know what? For all the people who are like just scared stupidly scared to wear really crazy pigmented lips out in public like this let's do a sheer version this hold on there it looks quite pigmented but so you can sheer it out it's gorgeous and as i said for somebody who is terrified no i'm not terrified well yeah i am 
I just don't like when things kind of when something like is really pigmented on my lips and then when it starts to like fade away like or you know when it gets all blotchy all on the inner part of your lip I just I get real paranoid but this because it's like a little bit sheer it's easier to wear I show you they I love it I hate the noises that comes out of my mouth when I'm putting on lipstick so I like to apply a layer and then I use like the kind of back part of the doe applicator to just make sure the edges are all nice and that's what it looks like you can apply a second layer to kind of build it up a little bit but for me let me look at myself yeah see that's just that bit more wearable so then this will dry down really quickly and it will set and then you could just go about your life thinking you are great because you're wearing a red lip out in public it doesn't matter if it's a little bit sheer you're still wearing red I really like this shade because it has that balance of orange and blue kind of tones it's kind of like the perfect red it's like a like a strawberry that's what it is it's like a strawberry red and now I'm going to try and take it off I haven't worn this out in public yet, so I can't tell you about longevity or anything. But I will. Oh, I look real bare faced now that I don't have this on. I brought out a few of the sheer versions of their Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, so keep an eye out for them. You can get them on Cloud10 and ASOS and the Stila website. But yeah, sheer base though, if you want to wear red. I just don't want to go wild. Give that a go. Last week in Dublin, there was a massive launch for the Penny's PS News collection, and I have some of the um, liquid lipsticks and that to try out. Oh, um, I'm not going to try them all because we will be here for the day. But um, yeah, so there's like mattes, there's metallics like this. Um, they have, the collection is beautiful, first of all. It's so Instagrammable and everything is like nude and blush pink and just fab, just absolutely gorgeous. So just wanted to show you some of the um, shades. So this is one of the nude matte lip cream. What is the shade? Why did they make it so tidy? Anyway, I'll show you the shade here on my hand. Oh. That's like one of those proper nude, like Barbie pink, blue toned nude pinks, if that makes sense. That would not suit me at all. I'll, I'll show you like on one lip, like low. I have now no bottom lip. No. See, for me, that is just too nude for nude. Hold on. But that would be a nude for somebody. Just not me. I can't, I just looked demented. And um, yes, they have that one. Then I'll show you these two. These are gorgeous. Um, this is metallic lip gloss. This is a high shine lip gloss. So do you like the brown toned kind of metallic one first? Oh. That's like really coppery, rose gold, beautifulness. -ness. Again, I just, it's not a shade that I would wear myself because I'm too old. This one's lovely. Probably wouldn't wear it a huge amount, but maybe if I had like a new lip, then I'd put like this shade kind of in the center and dot it. Oh. It's gorgeous. It's almost like duochrome. It's like got a gold base, but like pink shimmery undertones. It is fabulous. But I will show you the one that I think is the most wearable of the four that I have. Now, there are like so many of these types of lipsticks in the whole collection because there's a set and then there's some that come with um, a lip, what you call it thing, like a lip liner as well. So I'm not sure what shades go in what, but just like whenever it launches in pennies, I think it's starting to roll out now. And um, go have a little, a little squiz. But I will show you this one. I can't see what shade it is. This just says matte lip cream. Pennies, you need to make the writing bigger for brighties like me. Back of my hand. Oh. It's quite pale like, compared to the the bottle it's pale when you apply it on but still it's wearable i haven't tested these out properly so as i said i, I don't know about longevity but ah look who has it it feels really smooth on application not like it's like whipped or moussey but it's a really it's a really soft um formula i like it and i think for me what i would do is i would apply like a slightly darker liner um, around the edges just to kind of define but no it actually looks on camera it looks decent just in real life it looks a little bit still too peachy too pale for me I like a more of a um what do you call it like a more dusky pinky nude but it is lovely I am going to give them all a proper go so I can review them properly and let you know what I think but they're cheapest chips so if you're thinking about trying some of the new collection I would go give it a shot I've just left the fanciest and most expensive until last so Charlotte Tilbury has some new bits out at the moment and she has this set Hold on. 
It looks like this. It has three lipsticks in it. Hold on, I'll show you the box. This is the box that it comes in. It's beautiful. This is called Charlotte Tilbury at Your Lip Service and it has two new shades and one existing shade. This is the Matte Revolution shade in The Queen. This is already existing and this is staying and I haven't even swatched this yet. Oh! Okay, hold on, let's have a look. Hold on, i put these ones down. Okay, first swatch, ready? Oh, it's more pinkier than I thought. Oh god, that does feel so nice on. This one has one of those kind of flat edges like that, so you can really get um, a sharp line. You're probably looking at this going, that ain't sharp, girlfriend. That's gorgeous. Oh, hello. Am I queen? I don't usually wear kind of pinky toned um, colours, but that's beautiful. It's like a fuchsia saying that I'll take it off for the next one so then this is one of the new shades and when I saw this I think it was on Charlotte's um Instagram it's called the Duchess and it's one of the K-I-S-S-I-N-G or kissing lipsticks <sighs> just have to have a moment I am hoping that this is going to be beautiful on me I'm hoping that this lives up to my own hype because I was looking at pictures of this on loads of people I was like Fab. It's like a dusky pink again. It's one of those really wearable shades for me and I haven't swatched it. Okay, I just have to push it down because I want to like break the tube. Are you ready? So that's the queen. Snap eye. Oh, it's like, it's like, how do you talk? It's like, peachier than I thought it was going to be. It's got like a glossy finish. Sorry, I'll be witching in a sec. It's got a really nice glossy finish as well. I love that. Oh, that's like the perfect balance of like dusky pinkiness and peachiness. It's described as a tea rose pink. It looks more tea rose. To me, tea rose is that shade, but looks peachier on me. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know what I mean. Oh, that's gorgeous though. That's a really, really nice spring shade. Love that. So the first shade that I tried, Whoa! the first shade, that shade that I tried on from Charlotte Tilbury, it's the Matte Revolution in The Queen. And then this new shade is the Matte Revolution in Legendary Queen. It looks kind of like burgundy, like a real deep wine shade, but I wonder, will it be a little bit lighter? Who knows? Let's find out. It's like a tomato red. You can see that that's defo pink. Okay, come on, we have to try this. Okay. Weird. Oh, I like that. It's like almost like a brick red but with a hint of burgundy to it. Oh, I love that. That shade, uh, the Legendary Queen, it's almost like a terracotta brick red. I know I keep saying that. I really like that. I think that would be lovely with an nail tan as well. I'm just going to leave that one on. So we have the Matte Revolution in The Queen, the Kissing Lipstick in The Duchess, and then Matte Revolution in Legendary Queen. Queen, Legendary Queen. Oh, I love that shade on me. Okay, that is the shade that I can wear. Bloody sun is like washing out my face completely. I do have like bronzer and contour and stuff on. So just so you know. I thought I was going to be able to leave this on, but I have one more lipstick and then two liners. Um, so she has five new shades of the Lip Cheat liners. Um, I got sent two. This is Bond Girl and this is Hot Gossip. Let's have a look. So this is Bond Girl. I'll show it to you now in a second. Just remember that one is Bond Girl because I will forget. And then hot gossip. I still use. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I actually love the two of them. And then Bond Girl Hot Gossip. So you can see the hot gossip is kind of warmer than Bond Girl. Bond Girl would actually go really nicely with the Duchess. I'm not like that. Oh my god, swatches of lipsticks on the back of my hand. It's just my favorite thing. Yeah, I still use my lip cheat and pillow talk all the time. So I'm delighted to have two new shades to play with. Thanks for that. So there are five new shades altogether. 
So one more lipstick and I think this is going to be like a vampy one. So I think one of the past Christmas gift um, sets was based on this lipstick and now they've brought back the lipstick on its own as a permanent one. So it's called, what's it called? Opium Noir. I keep going to say Film Noir. And um, yeah, it's one of the Matte Revolution. Are you ready? I'll put it here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's gorgeous. Oh, it's, see again, I thought that was going to be really terrifying and been really like, Ur. but it's, oh. Okay, we have to try that. And usually for a shade that's uh, that dark, I would usually line my lips, but sure, listen, we'll give it a go. Line it with that one, with the Bond Girl. Oh my God, I can see my actual tash right now. Usually I spend a bit more time kind of carving out the lip, but I just want to show you what this is like on. Hmm. Am I vampy? <gasps> this shade is definitely less forgiving on the lips than the other shades, because I find that I have a couple of little dry patches, well I do now after swatching all them and it clings to the dry patches just a little bit. But once I pat over it, oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, imagine this with like liner and just flawless matte skin. Yeah, so that is not film noir, opium noir. And thus ends this video where I piled all of the lipsticks onto my face and now I'm just going to have real like, lips like a bum hole. Not because of the lipsticks, because I'm after taking them off with bloody wipes. Like I should use my cleanse off my thingy. But there are just some gorgeous lip products that are out there at the moment. And there's ones for all budgets. So just go, have a look, have a swatch, bring some wipes. And um, yeah, I hope I gave you some ideas, some inspiration. You know, if you're on the hunt for like, oh, you're like, I don't know what I want. I want to get like a new lip product. I'm hoping that I gave you some ideas. If you'd like a review on any of those lip products separately, let me know. Um, maybe I'm going to do Charlotte Tilbury one anyway, so I can show the photos properly. But if you want to see anything else, just let me know in the comments below and I shall get stuck in. So thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment and um, we'll have the chats and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.